guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager where today we are not jumping back in to the original Fools Transport Inc. We have sold the company, we've checked out, we've got the cash and we're going to invest that money right now into a brand new company. Last episode, I kind of basically suggest to you guys, should I sell up and start a new company somewhere else? And make it a little bit more difficult. Knowing what I know now about the game, I might be able to create an even better company. And a lot of you guys suggested, yes, I asked you where. A lot of you wanted your hometowns, which I found hilarious. Uh, but I, I kind of thought to myself, if I was to move anywhere, where would I go? I could go to the cities like LA. I could go to like Hong Kong. I could go to, you know, London. Uh, these big places where infrastructure is vast and plentiful when it comes to building a transportation company. And then I thought to myself, no let's give myself a challenge i want a smaller location not too small where i can't make any money um I, I also want to have some features around it maybe on an island i tried to find some islands and i found a really good one that i kind of like the idea of so we are going to recreate the fools transport inc oh, hold on there we go if i can even spell right now uh the fools transport inc and it is going to stay in america but right but you have to hear me out on this one if i type in key west and select key west and press next and it, we're gonna have it as a city style no let's go for a village style normal yes keep it going keep it going um this if you don't know where, where the key west is right now it's in florida it's at the very end of florida when i say at the very end it's not connected to florida what it kind of is by a bridge but at the end of Florida, you have a bunch of loads and loads of islands that slowly dribble into the Gulf of Mexico. And Key West is the most southerly point that you can reach uh, within Florida, I think, uh, via vehicle without having to go on a boat. And if I zoom out right now, this is that final island. If I bought the tile to the right, the road here will extend to the next island. And then if I keep buying, you'll eventually end up uh, at the mainland of Florida. But here we go. This is all I've got to work with right now. We are in the key west of Florida right now. And there's two main reasons I want to be here. One, the weather is a lot better than New York City. Let's just throw that out there right now. And two, this means I am don't have the luxury of just throwing down a route wherever and just making money. Um, there's not going to be as many people, as many points of interest to take our buses. So we might have to heavily rely on the subsidiaries, providing that they're pretty good for me. Um, there is a little bit of an airport down here as well. So at least we can get some people coming in via plane. So this is going to be a, a pretty, a pretty tasty challenge, if I do say so myself. So if I ever do expand, the only obvious direction to go is to the right, because that's where the road connects. There's no other reason to go anywhere else. We've got a couple of little islands here, which are connected via road, which we can utilize as well. So we must start then by placing down a depot. Now, where do I put it? Where do I start your boy's bus company? I mean, ideally, in a centralized location. Again, this is something I've learned because, you know, buses need to get to their destinations and get off their schedules a whole lot quicker. So maybe around here somewhere will be a good location. What is actually here anyway? It seems to be, oh, there's a high school just there. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to get too close uh, there. I don't want to, my toxic, burning, gas-guzzling vehicles to affect the children. What about over here? Uh, I'm not sure what this place is right now. Uh, I'm not too kind of um, clued up on what this whole area is. Uh, or maybe I should just bring it down here by the park area. I think this would be a good little location for it. Between the two parks, why not? I could um, I could build it just... Ooh. This is the tough decision you boys got to make. I'm going to build it here. There we go. Boom. Yes. The depot has been placed. And here it is. Wow, this really is a village vibe. This is completely different to the city that we once had. So, with that said, I've now got to go through all the bits and bobs to kind of get all set up. So, I'm going to build a service center. Uh, we've got to equip it with a, um, a desk and all that kind of jazz. So, let's quickly build this to get this all set up then. So, a service center. We're going to need a service desk. 
and making sure I got this the right way around. There we go, there we go, boys. And we'll drop you just there. Very good. We need to provide at least two seating options, which will go for an armchair and an armchair. There we go again. Uh, beautiful. And uh, we now need to build an office. So we, we've got to set our offices up. This is how we obviously hire the workers. So do I start with a little bit of a corridor first? It depends on how jazzy I want to make these offices. Um, but I know at some point I'm always going to come back to it and edit it. So it doesn't really matter. But I feel like I want to at least get some organization going down. So if I come off here by a three or do I come off by a two? Let's go off by a two and just build this room going out. And then we'll build... Oh, no, I've got to build a corridor by at least five by three. So we'll make it an extra third. There we go. Oh, he's already ticked anyway. Oh, damn it. Uh, offices. We're going to build an office right now. So we'll go in this direction. So I can always extend the service center this way. So my first office, if I go by a... It says it wants to be a six by four, but I'll go an eight by four. Just to give me that little bit of an additional room. You know, maybe to hire one or two more. We're going to need a beautiful little standing desk. This is going to be for our researcher. And then we're going to need a little bit of an armchair. And then I think that is pretty much it. Oh, hang on. We need, we, need, we need a door to get into the room. So a door there. Also a door just here. And then we need to build a kitchen. Now, we do have to build um, in the corridor uh the the lockers so we can actually hire staff but i feel like we, we're gonna they're gonna tell me to do that a little bit later so a kitchen then build a kitchen and this is gonna make sure that oh i don't actually don't want to build a kitchen there we'll extend the corridor a bit further down how do i get rid H how do i get rid like i've never played this game before why can't i actually get rid of it All right there we go Acting like you never played the game before, Sonia. Come on, you've played this game before. Stop lying to us now. Stop lying. So I'm going to bring this down here, a little bit of an L, so I can connect some rooms going further down. We are going to set up then the kitchen on the corner. So I'll do this a... We'll do it by a six... Yeah, six by six is reasonable. We'll get double doors from double angles. There we go. So it's easier to kind of progress in. And we need to place down at least one fridge and a vending machine. So, vending machine, set up, one fridge, set up. Now, I don't need to go too crazy because, obviously, I don't have uh, the mass amounts of staff that I once had in New York City. So, it's a bit easy for me at the moment. It is a little bit easier for me at the moment. And then the bathroom, then. We'll build the bathroom. Again, I don't want to build on this side here because I can extend the service center. So, I feel like we'll build the bathroom just here. So, we'll do a... Four by six. I'll extend the corridor as well. There we go. Uh, back to the bathroom. We're going to door in. Well, bam. And then we need to place in a toilet. So one measly toilet. And that's it. Very good. Very good. So we need to then start placing out our first buses. So we need to build at least two more um, bits of road. So the street. So one, two... Uh, and then we need... Oh, no, sorry, not two pieces of road. It was two bus spaces. So, obviously, I'm only going to be able to afford small buses. So, we're going to kind of just go with the small buses. So, two of them in. I can get two routes all set up straight away, which would be quite exciting. Oh, I can actually place them on this side as well. We couldn't do that before, previously. Nice, nice. Um, right, buy two buses. So, we have no research and done, so it's just look at the... I think it's look at the draw of what buses you get to start with. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no, it's all the same buses. And, oh my goodness me, the masters are going to haunt me for the rest of my life. So, obviously, it would be ideal to start off... Knowing what we now know, that if I go small, I'm eventually going to have to replace them. Just always go as big as you can. Also, try and get the buses with the most seats in. So, the new Ram Ramses... 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 Ramses, is that how you pronounce them? Ramses, the new Ramses. We're going to get two of these. Which is going to cost me 20600 I could always buy them secondhand, but I don't have any of the mechanical stuff set up just yet to kind of fix them. But now we need to create a new livery. Now, I think we should step away from the yellow. I don't know if we have a template for this bus. We don't. I will utilize, uh, and I have to kind of now import my decal. 
Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Uh, I still want the same decal right now. Logo. I gotta find it right now. I'm gonna. I think it's. Could it be C C C one? Yeah. Yes, it is. Beautiful. I still want the same logo because you know it's your boy's logo. But we'll go for a slightly different color. So we'll place one just there. We'll also then do one just here. And then on the back, we'll do one so you'll know you're right behind the Fool's Transport Inc. And we'll do one right on the front. This, If this doesn't scream Fool's Transport Inc., I don't know what will. I mean, I could go crazy and put like a lot of small ones on. Could do one some down here. Very nice, very nice. I mean, and you could also at the same time as well, place a bunch of these like decals down and do a couple of stripes. I mean, how big could I make that? Ooh. Now you're talking. Now you're pushing my boundaries, boys. Right, I don't want to do that because it will look kind of crazy. But roof color, we will do, can I zoom out? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll stick with black for now. And then I'm feeling because we're near the sea, I need to go for like a turquoisey kind of lighty kind of blue. Either like turquoisey or more diamondy color. I like the idea of this. These buses do look hilarious. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they do look hilarious. Um, oh my goodness me. That is funny. But I kind of like the idea of it being like a light blue. My other option would have been probably green, but I feel like that's too bright and vibrant. Oh, the old one, guys. The old one. I could go red. I could go red. Red is also a solid color. Hmm. Or I could go for that slight off red. Like that. Oh, I like that colour too. I mean, you're definitely going to spot that bus, aren't you? Now, what if I change the roof to white or the roof to be the same kind of colour? What is that colour anyway? So, if I copy this to over here and just have the whole bus that colour, that looks kind of cool though, doesn't it? I mean, you can also put these stripes on the roof as well. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go with this colour. Apply. There we go. My first two buses have been purchased. Right, here they come in. Wow, they really stand out. They really do stand out. Okay, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Right then, okay, so we've got the two buses. We now need to place down six lockers in the corridor. So corridor, lockers. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We then need to hire some staff. So um, we need to hire a, two bus drivers. So bus drivers, hire you. And hire you. Then we need to hire a mechanic, even though we don't have any of the mechanic places set up just yet. But we'll hire you. We need to hire a researcher. And we'll hire you. Uh, one cleaner. Bam. And then one service employee. Now, we want someone who's got really great friendliness because they're the ones going to be interacting with our public. So there we go. So now then, we need to build a gas station and it needs to be connected to the street. So the outdoor section, gas station, it's quite a large building. I could literally build it at the very end, but I feel like we should build a little bit more on the street. Do you reckon I should go up this way straight away? How much are these streets, by the way? 170, okay, they're not too expensive. I have the ability to connect down to here as well at some point. Um, right, okay, so gas station. We'll build this just here. Done, mate. Absolutely done. So there's going to be space to kind of build this up, and I'll eventually move all the buses over here eventually. Uh, oh, a bus wash as well. So now we're onto the bus wash. So we only really need a small one again because I've got small buses. There we go. And then the lifting uh, platform thing. So we, again, the small one of this. Bam. And then a warehouse. Oh, yeah, to store the goods. So a warehouse. Build a warehouse, which needs to be a minimum of 4x4. Four four. Can I get away with this? Apparently that works. 
But obviously, let's be real right now. I'll delete that. Just because I I want it all the same size as my um, my bus wash. We'll get a door in. And then we need some shelving. So we've got to have it... Um, this big to get all the shelving and make them reachable is what I'm going to do. And now I can pretty much plan my first bus route. So technically then, the depot is all done and dusted. The depot is all complete. I can now move on to creating my very first bus route in the key west boys so let's get this going so we've got many places to, to utilize it feels like a big space but we're going to fill this up pretty quickly so bus routes new route so this is quite interesting the public service routes now go let's go back to new york when it was saying i could make over two hundred thousand on a public service route here not so much <laughs> Wow, we are making literally no money in this place. So this is going to make it a little bit more difficult. So, can't do any of these until I've got the trophies all set up. But I can do my very own bus route. And there's not many bus stops in place as it is. So, okay. So, let's start with a central loop. So I reckon we'll kind of keep it nice and simple. Do like a little bit of a central loop. And then we'll build all other bus routes coming off my central loop. So we have this long strip here of points of interest, which I'll probably utilize that the most. So let's start then. Let's start here. We'll start there. We'll then have a stop here. Oh, why is it going around there? See, this is all this is all part of the fun right now, guys. There we go. I'm trying to make the roots work. So we'll have a stop every so often going up this road. And then I say, I reckon we get to this point here. And we do a little bit of a right turn. And then we'll come to just that point there to hopefully collect a few of these people around here. And let's make it wiggle through here. Oh, I don't want it to go that way. No, can it, can it not go this way? Okay, maybe not. Um, I was going to suggest either coming down this road or coming down this road here and then looping back. Which, again, there's not really much available for them. Which road do I need to come down? I mean, I can make them come down this road here, but I feel like this road just to split the difference. So if I put in that there, again, to pick up these guys here, unless I actually pull in to here like that, and then come back down this way. Just to collect those fools over there. Now there seems to be a couple of churches here. Uh, churches. There we go. I can't even say the word churches. A couple of churches there. We have. Now this is interesting here. Two parks there. Which I could make it stop here instead. Ideally. Right. Ideally. I want it to. Not go this way around. But it turns out it's not going to do it. So I'll just stop at the supermarket instead. And then we are coming down. There's a school. There, oh, there's two schools here. I'll stop just there. No, is it a church and a school? Sorry. And then we'll bring it down to here. Just so it's on this strip. Stop at that bus stop. And complete just there. So, very basic, very, 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 very simple. And it is apparently not enough bus routes. Um, or do, do I press OK? Requires one bus. Up to 100. Of, that's kind of optimistic, isn't it? So, let's reduce this to where it says two buses. Driving interval every 60 minutes. How about every 45? Every 60? Right, I can always edit it anyway. I can always edit it anyway. So, my first goal is to sell 20 tickets and then to carry 50 passengers. So, this will be my central loop. I'll then build... So, the, my next one I build off it will still utilize this straight going down, but obviously then go this way up. This one going down and this way off. And that one... As small as that one route is, it kind of feels like I ain't got much space left to build the others. So this truly is going to be interesting.
Now, what's also going to be interesting as well is my subsidiaries. Will my subsidiary percentage be higher because of the place that I'm currently in? Um, let's find out. So, click on your finances. We've just done that. And subsidiary. Whoa! We're getting nearly 300% additional from subsidiaries. That's all obviously based on the location. So the more rural or the smaller the place you go to, the higher the subsidiary percentage to kind of balance out you making money. So although we're not making much money on these routes, the subsidiaries might be the one that make us the big chunk of change. Damn. Right, haven't unlocked this shift scheduler just yet. So because of that, I kind of don't remember how I'm meant to do routes. So put it into play mode. We're going to assign our buses, so assign you, and assign you. And we're now just going to wait for them to uh, skadoodle out of here. So, we play the waiting game. Oh, do you know what I should have done, actually? We've quickly going to build mode. Um, we'll put a tinted door. Tinted door just there, and I'll do one just there as well, on the ends, so it's easier to walk out the building without having to walk all the way out and around. So our first bus is now out. Our second driver is now on the way. And it's not too far from our depot as well. So there we go. There's our bus. Oh, I really actually like the color. So this is already a better start than New York, I feel. Solely because the buses are so much bigger. So much bigger. But that doesn't really mean anything. Because I can still have an overloaded route. So I've got to be a bit careful. At least these buses have a lot of seating space to sit down on. So I'm just now going to wait until the first one goes. So off it goes right now. It's already got four people on board. And I'm looking at the stops right now. So it's going to be more busy up in this area because the amount of um, points of interest and stores it has for them to go to. So let's have a little fast forward anyway. Because we got to wait for this boot, uh, boot bus to complete one loop for these stats to update. So I feel like this is manageable. This is manageable. I think it's slightly uh, ahead of schedule, but we'll take it. But we've completed the ability to carry 50 passengers, and we've done 11 tickets sold as well. So my current goal right now is to increase my bus network to 46%. I'm already at 37.7%. <coughs> That's ridiculous. I struggled to get that in New York. So wait for this bus to complete its loop. So they are slightly ahead of their schedule. This one's now out of service already. Is it? Don't tell me it's broken down. Or is it because of the time of day? I'm hoping it's the time of day it's finished its route. Let me see what this one does. If this one goes out of service right now, we know why. No. Oh, I'm slightly now worried. Why did you go out of service? It's got to be because of the time of day, right? Has to be. Has to be. Um, okay, so we completed that other goal as well So it gives us a little bit of chunk of change in our bank account uh, Now we have got to complete 10 tours, but we also now have the ability to research so I could research to reduce the fuel consumption This is a completely free research. I can get that done I'm not gonna research any new buses just yet cuz I feel like it'd be a little bit of a waste of time at the moment But let me now build uh, On the street two more Parking spaces will buy. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't save delivery. I gotta make sure I save that. So let me buy two more of these Ramesses. Ramses. Bam. And like I said, yeah, I didn't save it, which is kind of annoying. So at least I copied and pasted the, the actual thing. Oh, good God. This is gonna be torture now isn't it right logo there do you know what I'm going to change these ones I'll have a logo there a logo there logo there just keep it nice and simple so let's save this we call it fools save locally there we go there we go and then apply so two new buses coming in, which means I need two new drivers. So staff, uh, go to hire, and oh, I need more lockers. Okay. So corridor, one, two. 
So staff, uh, bus drivers, hire. We'll grab you and we will. Uh, I'll grab you because your, your, your friendliness is, is pretty high. So two new drivers, which does mean I can now create an additional route to get more coverage. So over here then, while that bus is still on its current route right now, we're going to build off this one here and then kind of create this block just there. So I just want to keep them all nice and simple. That's just what I want to do in the long run. Let's just keep it all nice and simple. No stress, no dramas. So I can't come off of this one. But I can start here and then bring it down to... Oh, I don't want to bring it down to there. To there. Because obviously I can't make it go to there because that's going that direction. We'll have a stop here. And then we'll have a stop just there. We'll then bring one to here for a couple of these points of interest. One just there. And I feel like we should bring it over to here because there's a few bits and bobs around this area. Make it go around this little kind of roundabout almost. And then bring it up to... We'll bring it just to here. And then that route goes technically up to there. So I'll have this stop... There's two stores here, so we're definitely going to have to make it stop just there. We'll make it pick up these guys over here. And I think that's then where we make it run down these same stops here, that we've got this one doing it, and ending just there. So it's just a natural extension of our current route. They intertwine and crisscross, so a passenger over here could travel to over here on two simple buses. Keep it nice and simple. No need to overcomplicate it. And we'll get this. I mean, I could. Oh, I, to be honest with you, you could get away with just one bus. So we'll confirm that. And uh, you you kind of have to wait till the next day for this to update. But with one bus doing that route, I could then technically set up a third route, couldn't I? So rather than time jump to the next day, let's create the next route right now. So new route own route and let's start then here and we'll make this one go down the opposite way so it's it's basically on the opposite side of the road and i'll get it to actually come down to here delete that to there oh no delete there so it comes down there this way out and then we'll kind of bring it up because there's a few points of interest here. So we get to stop just there. I'll get it to stop just here. We're kind of staggering slightly. And I'm going to get to run. I mean, there's a lot of stuff over here. Oh, right. Okay. But it's all at the very point end there. So the entry for up here is either here or over there. So I can actually bring this up to stop here, that to stop there, have this to stop here because there's a bunch of stuff here we could utilize. Then oh, bringing it all the way up here is crazy. Right, so if I had it stop then here, to then bring it back down to stop just there at that point. As it comes back out, there's a stop just here. Yo, this route's crazy. So then make it stop here, because there's a whole bunch of buildings and houses right now. Stopping just there. And it gets into the into the 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 thick of it just here. There's also an actual shipping thingy just there, but you gotta be a bit careful. There, that bus stop there, one just here. And then back here. That's a wild route. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a wild route. That's probably going to want two buses from the get-go. But no, it only wants one. But we're going to have to keep our eyes on that route. Alright, confirm that. Uh, we'll time jump right now. I'm a bit nervous for that route, by the way. So, at least all the buses are the same anyway. So there's no stress. And uh, we should complete both of these goals now as well so have a little fast forward get these buses out of here 
Uh, bus drivers are on their way. Not sure when that other bus kind of uh, gets out of here. But there's two on this one. I feel like there didn't need to be two on that one, the way it's looking. But we shall see. We shall see. Right, we're now just playing the waiting game for them to start. Oh, sorry, no, there's one on each route right now. I just realized. So that, that second one will come a little bit later. So we can kind of see then how filled up these buses are getting. So we've completed the network. 51, we, we've, we've covered 51% of the whole map right now. That's crazy. Uh, carry 200 passions a day and complete 10 tours. So what I feel like then, as it currently is, it's okay. But, right, this is the other thing as well, but are they all frozen? Oh, they're wait. That's where they start. Sorry, I feel. But it's also half five in the morning. I gotta wait till like lunchtime. So, how much are we making then? That's the interesting question. We actually turned the profit yesterday on four point five dollars. <laughs> I don't know. How. Um. So basically, if I make a dollar, I get three dollars back in subsidiaries. Jeez Louise, that is a lot of money. Right, this bus is now coming out. I feel like this bus is kind of wasted on this route. But we'll kind of see in the thick of it at lunchtime. And in rush hour. How devastating it becomes. We've also completed the research of reducing our fuel consumption. That's really good. Okay, the bus is getting pretty filled up right now. So, yeah. But then again, oh, that animal got pretty full because it was cleaning the backlog of this strip. That's waiting there. So it does get filled up pretty quick on that. But it manages it just fine. We're almost about to complete these tours as well, by the way. And then we got to carry 700 passengers. <laughs> we need 10 weekly t uh, active ticket holders. I think we're okay. I mean... I feel like it manages it. This bus that has to go all the way up here. It gets a little bit tasty around this location. But it seems to be able to kind of navigate through it okay. It's it's all up here. Because that's where the most points of interest are. And the most kind of businesses. But it seems to do alright. It seems to do okay. Right, as it comes down right now to this one. Picks up, drops off. And you've got the other bus crisscrossing with it as well. So, although it is pretty full, it doesn't quite reach full capacity yet. Yet is the big one. It's still 8 a.m. in the morning. It's still 8 a.m. in the morning. So, as it comes back up here again. Okay, not as full this time round. But these buses are managing it. We have... Oh my good God. We've got nearly a grand in tickets, which means nearly three grand in subsidiaries. <coughs> as I slowly choke, we're actually making money. I feel like we're doing pretty well here. So we've completed the carry 700 passengers. Now we've got to sell tickets and get active weekly ticket holders, which is going to be quite difficult. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this is weirdly doing okay. So we've got to think about our next moves then anyway. So I can research some new stuff. Um, I can research better food for the employees. I can expand, which I'm not going to. But I will get the company ratings available. Better food, because all this is all this stuff is free to research. I don't really want to spend much money just yet. I want to keep it nice and simple. Um, I can't believe we're getting nearly three hundred percent on. Uh, you'll also receive a discount on all buses, spare parts, building equipment. Looking forward. Oh, really? Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, right. Interested, guys. Very interested right now. So, how long until I can create a public service line? 
So, new route. I can... Oh, I can create one now to just Key West up here. So that's got to go in that direction. I feel like I'm not quite ready at the minute to fully expand over there. I feel like I need at least one more bus route, and then that one will be the one here. That's how I feel anyway. That's how I feel. So we'll kind of save that, but it'll give us 10 grand a week in additional revenue. So basically... Uh, $84, $85 is rent it up every time it completes a loop, which then I'll get paid in, in subsidiaries um, nearly $300 or $250 for every loop. So I'll be getting like three sixty dollars ish I'll be getting three fifty dollars every time it completes a loop. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Oh, this is going to be glorious. This is going to be a glorious bus company right now. Just throwing it out there, guys. Just throwing it out there. So, we need to be a bit careful as well with how our depot's going. Because we could quite easily fall behind and start losing money. It is, I've done it in the past. It's, it's very easy to fall into a little bit of a slump. So, we've researched the company ratings anyway. So, we can kind of see what we're falling short on. Bus driver style. What does that mean? Oh, their driving style. Oh, I've got the ones that are a bit more reckless, haven't I? <laughs> uh, not enough free seats. Again, uh, that's combated with making sure we've got enough buses. Driving intervals. That's another thing that we've got to kind of play around with as well. It's just making sure that they don't get there as, as quick and stuff like that. You know, it's a case of just playing around with some bus stops and whatnot. Can you, how do you stagger? the intervals is it possible to like fully edit edit not in that sense well, I don't want to do what I'm doing right now edit timetable advanced settings oh is it here <laughs> So this is where you like proper like edit everything and kind of do the offset so they kind of wait a little bit. But that kind of stuff takes a little bit of a while. Oh no, I've just assigned the wrong bus to someone. How do I get rid of this? I don't know how I get rid of this on the screen. <laughs> He's broken it. He's broken the game. Sunny X broken the game right now. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. So I might have just inserted that bus on another route by accident. Whoopsie. So someone's coming into playing about the fingers, uh, the ticket prices. What are the ticket prices anyway? I mean, that's what's set to D4. I'm going to keep it like that for now. I am going to keep it like that for now. But we're doing great. I feel like we're doing amazing. Even though I've got no bus on one of these routes. But hey ho. There we go. There we go. So this is. I feel like this is a really good start. I feel like we should end it here. But in the next episode. I'm going to build an additional route here. It might even be two routes here that I build. And then coming off. Here will be my key rest service line. That we're going to get set up. Um. So we'll start even making even more money. This is gonna go. This is gonna work out fairly well. We will start researching bigger buses. Do not worry about that. We will. We will one hundred percent do that. But again, don't want to do it just yet because I don't want to lose out on the sweet cash that your boy is currently making. We are right now five grand up. I haven't had a day where I've lost money. Is it because I'm playing it a little bit too safe? Or is it because of all that extra bus knowledge your boy now has? I don't know. But we will end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. I uh, hope you're really excited for the expansions in the Key West right now. A small place. Can't really mess it up too much, I'm hoping. 
but it is going to get a lot more difficult because when I get to the higher end of trying to buy more and more buses, they get more and more expensive. They don't carry as many passengers. That's when we're going to run into the issues. I'm going to assign my buses right now to new shifts, but they haven't even finished. I need to unlock the ability to get the shift scheduler. That's what I need to do. What do I need to get the shift scheduler? Um, oh, 175 trophies. Damn, boy. But it's a big help. It is a big help. Guys, we are going to end it here right now. If you did enjoy this, please smash that like button down below. But until next time, I see you all soon. So, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>